yesterday in response to uh, the gentleman who, whether he accidentally or absent-mindedly, auto parked his Model S into the back of a semi truck, uh, put a little update on uh, firmware. We're at uh, version 7.1, flavor 2.18.77. And uh, basically, uh, summon update. The uh, firmware it says when activating summon from the parking stock, choose the direction of travel on the touchscreen before exiting the car. Uh, before it was either forward or reverse, and uh, it was automatically set to forward. So when you exited the car after turning on auto park, which is by uh, pressing the uh, park button twice in a row after the vehicle's in park. Um, and then exit the vehicle again. Uh, obviously, uh, the four-way flashes would be coming on. You'd hear dinging as you got out of the car to alert you that the magic was about to happen. Um, as usual, uh, things you're gonna try and idiot-proof them as much as possible, and sometimes you just come up short. So uh, they enacted this now. Make an extra step before it will activate. But um, so this, so this was pushed out to the fleet yesterday. It was a quick update, uh, despite what the update timer said. Uh, the update only took about 10-15 minutes for most. Uh, a few people had some issues where the update failed. Um, don't know the deal with that, but uh, you know, it really wasn't a big deal. Failed update just rolls back to the previous version. But one thing that was not in the released notes, which is something I've been I've been begging for for about three years now, is the fan speed. Now, previously, especially since the vehicles were new, um, I mean, first produced, uh, well, we have range mode on and range mode off. Uh, range mode gives the car a little bit extra energy savings. And as you can see right there, range mode, I keep it on. And uh, it does, it would basically, the biggest thing, especially in winter, is it reduces uh, the heating capabilities of the vehicle. Um, I, I haven't had any trouble with it keeping up with our heat in Wisconsin here, at least not on uh, second gen Model S car. On uh, first gen, it would be a little lacking, but then um, they, they did modify the, uh, the heating curve um, and how the whole heating system operates. Uh, this past winter. It also on dual motor cars and activate, activates torque sleep by turning that on. Uh, torque sleep will deactivate the rear motor when at cruising and I found it actually uh, deactivates the rear motor in most situations even starting from a dead stop unless there's a call for more power than a, a single front small motor can ask for. Uh, which is another big leap in uh, energy savings as uh, one tiny ru motor running is more efficient than having two tiny motors running or one tiny and one large if you have a performance version. Uh, and on the classic Model S, torque sleep or the range mode on would enable torque sleep where all power is cut to the drivetrain when you're at a complete stop. So there's really not too much gain but slightly. I mean, if, if you're in stop and go traffic, uh, torque sleep will help um, on the classic version, single motor versions, otherwise not. But here is the big, big thing I've been begging for. Now, along with reduced heating and cooling capabilities, it also reduces your fan speed. Where if, if you have, especially in the summer, if you have reduced heat, uh, cooling capabilities, you want that fan speed at the highest it can go to circulate more air in the summertime. Now, some of you might remember, uh, I came out with a little, a little hack for the car um, to basically uh, bypass that fan speed restriction when uh, range mode was flipped on. Uh, we will no longer need to do that. So previously, range mode had a limit of a fan setting of 8 when turned on. But as of the sneaky little firmware update they sent us last night, we can now go all the way to 11 with fan range mode on. Now your heating and cooling capabilities will still be reduced, but you will still have and be able to use full fan speed, which is amazing. 
absolutely spectacular. And no, I didn't forget to uh, close my charge port. Uh, my charge port decided to become possessed uh, yesterday. <laughs> uh, it's actually closed, but it, it, it waves at people now. Uh, Ranger's coming next week to fix that for me. But um, kudos to Tesla for exceeding 8 and going to 11 for us. And uh, Autopilot is doing absolutely a flawless job of stop and go traffic. Salud! Smile, cheese!